everyone, Therese Lane here, your rock star weight loss coach from TheresaLane.com. And this is episode number two, number two, number two of our two part video series about weight loss for busy people. And in the last video, we talked about meal planning and how meal planning can actually give you more time in your week. So if you haven't seen that one, go back to last week's video, you can watch that. You don't have to watch it first, uh, but make sure you go back and watch that one because it's a good one. In this video, I wanna talk to you about working out. Nobody seems to have time to work out. Well, I'm gonna bust a hole in that excuse. Yes, hi. <laughs> I'm gonna bust a hole in it because it's not entirely true. The problem is, is yeah, we're all busy. We are all busy and I understand you are busy. Trust me, I understand it, but we do have the time. We can't make time. We, we, we only have 24 hours in a day. We can't make time, but we can create the time. And all you need is the tools and the education to understand what you're doing with your week and what's important to you. And I'm gonna actually, at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you about an amazing offer coming up where I'm going to give you more of those tools to get time back on your side. But for this video, I want to talk about the, the best time for you to work out. And I want to give you a, a mental tool to switch that around so that you are ready to work out regardless of how busy you've been all day, regardless of how long you've been on your feet, doesn't matter. This is going to help you to get that exercise in no matter what, okay? So the first thing I want you to do is, like your, your healthy meals, is to plan your workouts. And I say plan, 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 and I know a lot of you are rolling your eyes, but I say it because it's true. And it's not just true for me, this is proven. Research has shown time and time again that when people plan their meals and they plan their workouts, you're not only more likely to do it, you're more likely to actually lose the weight and keep it off. And is that not what you want? You don't want to just lose weight over and over again. You want to keep the stuff off. You don't want to have to do it again. So this is why I say plan, plan, plan. And trust me, after a while, I was never a planner. Never a planner when I was bigger. And now I'm a total planner. I plan my meals, I plan my workouts, and the reason I have my workouts planned for three months in advance, and I'm not joking. Three months in advance I plan my workouts for. And I am flexible. Sometimes there are days where it's just not gonna happen, but nine times out of 10 my workouts happen and that's for two reasons. One, because I plan it, and two, because of this mindset shift that I'm going to give you in a few moments. So you wanna plan it. You want, and to plan it, you need to write it down. So the next thing you wanna do is, first you wanna figure out what workouts you're gonna do, and then you're going to write it down. Whether you write it down on a calendar, in front of you or you put it on your computer whatever it is write it down my two favorite things to use are if you don't like using electronics fitbook is awesome you not only uh you not only write in your plan for the week but i'm gonna try and find it for you it's gonna take more time um, you can write in your plan for the week but then every single day you write down what your workouts are what you ate, huh, 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 great way to plan it. Comes in a little compact thing. Each one comes with its only tiny pen. It's perfect, it's absolutely perfect. If you don't like using using a computer, use Fitbook. It's just, it's it tells you what to do, that's why. It tells you what to do. Uh, but what I do, I use my phone. And if you don't use your phone, what's wrong with you? If you want to save time in your life, use your phone effectively effectively and I write all of my workouts down in my calendar which my iCal which syncs up to my phone and then every day I write out that uh, the day's workout in my to-do list because I like to check it up so write it down Re regardless of what you do write it down then you need to find out when you're gonna work out the best time for you to work out is when you are least likely to be disturbed so for some of you, this might be nine o'clock at night when the kids are in bed. For other people, it might be at 5 a.m. You might have to get up a half hour earlier. It's just the way it is. I have a friend of mine, she gets up willingly at 4.30 in the morning every single day to work out because she has a full-time job and a house full of kids and a spouse. It's the only time she's gonna be able to do it. 
but she wants the results so badly she's willing to do it and now she's used to it it really doesn't bother her to get up at that that early anymore she goes to bed a little bit earlier and she, so she can get up earlier so you want to find the time when you are least likely to be disturbed and that may mean that you don't get to watch a tv show or you don't get to play on facebook for for a certain period of time you know at night but what you can do is you can tell yourself okay well if i work out my reward will be 30 minutes on Facebook or, oh my God, I'm going to miss Games of Thrones, but if I can PVR it, I'll work out and then my reward will be watching Games of Thrones. But you can only watch the show if you actually worked out. So it may mean that you have to cut back some of that leisure time, but you want to do it. And the last thing I want to give you is this mental mind shift that I used to help me really create the habit of exercise. And beforehand, I was really wishy-washy with my exercises. So I'm like, oh, maybe I'll do it today. And then all of a sudden I get home and I'm tired and I don't want to do it. So then I'm like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. And then of course it never happens tomorrow. But then I created a mind shift, uh, mindset shift. And instead of, instead of making it optional, because that's what I was doing it, I said, you know, I basically told myself that working out is optional. I decided no longer was working, working out optional. Workouts ended up becoming non-negotiable. They became essential to my day and I Consciously made the choice to say okay no longer can I say oh, maybe I won't do it I'm going to treat my workouts like eating like brushing my teeth like getting dressed in the morning It is something that is absolutely non-negotiable to my days and the moment I made that mindset shift was the moment everything changed and I now work out f five to six days a week so again plan your workouts find that time in your day when you're least likely to be disturbed and reframe your mindset tell yourself that working out is no longer an option it is non-negotiable so if you like this video please share it around and as I mentioned at the top of the video, I have a huge announcement to make. I have a free call happening for each and every one of you on August 14th. And what we're going to talk about is how you can set up your life so that you can get your time back. This seriously will be weight loss for busy people. I'm going to tell you everything you need to be able to get the weight off and keep it off even though you're running around with a chicken you with your head cut off because I'm going to give you the knowledge and the tools that you need to get time back on your side and implement these tools that I've given you in the last in the last two videos the meal planning and the workout planning we're gonna go into so much more depth on that and we're gonna talk a lot more about how to prioritize your time prioritize your week so that you can get these workouts in so that you can really get in these meal planning uh, tips into your day. So again, all details are below, right down here below. Um, that's all the details you need to register for the call. And again, it's completely free of charge. It's happening on August 14th. What are you doing on August 14th? You're coming to my free call. You're going to tell all your friends about it. You're going to tell your relatives about it. You're going to tell everybody about it because this is the number one excuse I hear from people and no one is addressing it. No fitness professionals, no nutritionists out there are talking about how you can get time back on your side so people can stop making that time as an excuse. August 14th, on the phone with me and I'm gonna tell you how you can get time back on your side so that you can get fit, you can get hot, you can feel great, you can get clarity, you can have better sex, you can do anything. August 14th, see ya.